Hi and welcome back to the channel. So today is Friday, which means it is Kids Quiz Day. So we've got three rounds and the first round is all about animals. So if you want to go and grab a pen and paper and we'll get started. There are 10 questions and it's one point for each. So we'll go through the questions and then at the end we'll put up um, the answers in the comments or we'll just go through them um, with a video. So, when you're ready, question number one. What are a group of frogs called? So that's, what are a group of frogs called? Question two. What colour is a polar bear's skin? What colour is a polar bear's skin? Question three. True or false? A tortoise is a sea creature. So that's true or false, a tortoise is a sea creature. Question four. The crocodile species is believed to have been around for how long? Two million years or 200 million years? So that's the crocodile species is believed to have been around for how long? Two million years or 200 million years? Question five. What type of extinct animal is the dodo? What type of extinct animal is the dodo? Question six. How many legs does a crab have? How many legs does a crab have? Question seven. True or false? Snakes have slimy skin. True or false, snakes have slimy skin. Question eight. What is a baby kangaroo called? What is a baby kangaroo called? Question nine. What are female elephants called? What are female elephants called? And finally, question 10 in the first round is, what food makes up nearly all of a giant panda's diet? What food makes up nearly all of a giant panda's diet? So round two is all based on sports. So question one, what does the NBA stand for? That's what does the NBA stand for? Question two. What is the person who stands directly behind the wicket in cricket called? What is the person who stands directly behind the wicket in cricket called? How many different strokes are there in swimming? Question three, how many different strokes are there in swimming? Question four, what five colours are the Olympic rings? What five colours are the Olympic rings? Question five, what is the only sport that has been played on the moon? What is the only sport that has been played on the moon? Question six. What type of race is the Tour de France? What type of race is the Tour de France? Question seven. What colour is the centre of the target in archery? What colour is the centre of the target in archery? Question eight. In netball, which two positions are allowed to shoot? In netball, which two positions are allowed to shoot?
Question nine, how many players are there on a football team? That's how many players are there on a football team? So that means when they're playing an actual match, not the entire team. So on the pitch, how many players? And question 10, in bowling, what is the term given for three consecutive strikes? That's 10 pin bowling. So in 10 pin bowling, what is the term given to three consecutive strikes? And the final round for this week's Friday quiz is all based around Disney. So question one, what is Flynn Rider's real name in the movie Tangled? What is Flynn Rider's real name in the movie Tangled? Question two, what type of god is Marwe from Moana? What type of god is Marwe from Moana? Question three, how many dwarfs were there in Snow White? How many dwarfs were there in Snow White? Question four, what colour was Aurora's dress in Sleeping Beauty? What colour was Aurora's dress in Sleeping Beauty? Question five, who created Disney? Who created Disney? Question six, how many brothers does Merida have in Brave? How many brothers does Merida have in Brave? Question seven, in which US state is Lilo and Stitch set? In which US state is Lilo and Stitch set? Question eight, who was the first ever Disney princess? Who was the first ever Disney princess? Question nine, how many current Toy Story movies are there? How many current Toy Story movies are there? And your final question, who was the first Disney princess to wear trousers? Who was the first Disney princess to wear trousers? So I hope you've enjoyed today's quiz. You can see the answers in the comments below. Do leave us a comment to let us know what you liked about it, what topics you'd like us to cover for next week's quiz. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you are notified every time we post. Have a great weekend.